What's up guys, I'm going to make this quick because I had a shitty day. Uh, just one of those days where, where uh, pimping ain't easy, I guess, they say. But I uh, spent all day working on a zero tolerance 400. That thing is very hard. Very, very hard to do. And uh, also got this guy here. It's a junkyard dog. Uh, black scales. Black G10 with the pattern in it. Uh, these were the wrong scales for this project, so these are for sale, just the scales. Uh, I'm going to say uh, 55 bucks and, uh, and make it uh, 60, yeah, 60 if you want the toxic green spacers there. Yeah, they're nice and nice black scales. Uh, the black G10 looks a hell of a lot nicer than the uh, factory crap. So if you got a junkyard dog that needs some uh, quick pimp and you're not too into uh, crazy colors, yeah, you guys just, just PM me or email me. I also got the uh, Lightning Strike Carbon Fiber Victorinox uh, Camper, uh, minus the toothpick and tweezers for 70 bucks, uh, just because it's really expensive material, one of a kind, something very nice. So any of you guys want those, let me know. But uh, I saw Gabco's video today, which kind of cheered me up, where he uh, pimped out his, um, his Tenacious, and it kind of made me just want to mess with mine, because mine's been sitting there with those Ice Jade looking like crap for so long, and I decided just to go nuts on it. So uh, nobody's used yellow yet, so I put yellow underneath these. As you can see, I put the Emerson jimping right there, some jimping up here, and uh, some jimping up there. And as you can see, the blade's a bit different. Uh, I just like that Warncliffe style. So, you know, it's kind of shorter. I find the shape more useful. Less tip going on there. Good box opener and scraper. Uh, they're jimping on the, on the spine here. But they're jumping right there, so it's nice you can slide up here. And I've uh, been looking at this clip for a while. It's sitting in the drawer. They accidentally sent me a uh, tip down or left handed tip up clip, a uh, low right clip. So I put it on here because it kind of goes with this right here and doesn't block the circles. So I just some fun with my own tenacious, and I also stone wash the blade. a more interesting design but I'm just gonna get right to it guys um, the masterpiece of the day um, this is for Infidel X strong you guys know him George is a cool guy real nice dude uh, talked to him a few times he's sent a few knives and uh, he's just all around just a really nice guy to deal with and uh, I wanted to do something special with this one, he uh, he wanted the oh, mosquitoes. He wanted a, a junkyard dog with jade goes green, and he wanted it with bubble wrap. Uh, but then he changed his mind to smooth. And I talked to him this morning, as I wasn't sure which one he wanted. And uh, so you know, I went with both. So I gave him best, best of both worlds. And uh, we start off first with the backspacer. It's a nice jade backspacer. I took the hardware out of the old one, they just pop right out, so nice and clean. And you got the little bit of bubble there, some nice polished bubble. And the rest of it's got that nice polished contour with some nice big finger grooves here on the choil. And uh, someone puked right here. Just ignore this. Just kidding. But, uh, got a really nice grip on it now. Some extra little bit of grip there with those bubbles. It kind of, uh, the fingers kind of hit them. I kind of like play a little, little keyboard there. I'm just kidding. But, uh, everything's nice and perfectly centered. Flips open. But, uh, Infidelis is yours and the buck. I'm still trying to think. I, I have an idea of what I want to do with it. Uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. Just, uh, let me know if you got any input or anything you've been thinking about, maybe. But uh, I'm probably going to get to that tomorrow. And uh, so 
just want to let you guys know I'm probably going to take a few days to myself. It's been a little bit hectic here, and my girlfriend's got off all week, so I want to spend some time with her. Uh, the stress of this and the whole Blade Forums fiasco has been getting to me uh, a lot, and uh, you know, just the you know the volume of work is is awesome, but I need to I need to sit back and gather myself because uh, I think today was a good example of uh, how stressed I'm getting. It's starting to show my work. Nothing bad, but you know, just you know, you come across those those knives that are that you never did before, like the. Uh, the the, the uh, zero tolerance 400 and you can see you know, we got one two layers here it's just a strange construction and uh, right now it's not working too well um, but you know I'm getting there I mean it, it, I can see where it needs to be fixed and what needs to be changed but uh, as you can see I mean like you know, this is perfect perfectly milled and everything no biggie uh, the other side just needed to, I guess the depth is the problem or something like that. I don't know. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. It's a very touchy process sometimes with these knives. But uh, that one's a, a whole whole new beast that I've never experienced. Uh, this guy. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, comes with the territory. You know, I, I take on anything and and everything. So sometimes I don't know what I'm in for. Going out Monday. I want to see the finger grooves. And some groovage here and here, here and the other side. That was good. You can wrap your hand around there nicely. But, yep, if you guys PM me, I could use some extra cash right now. I'm um, working on, well, I, I got everything I need for titanium, so I'll be offering titanium bolsters uh, right off the bat. Uh, so if you guys want that titanium bolster look up here, and then, like, whatever down here. Uh, and, you know, in the meantime, we'll be working on frame locks and figuring out how to do it. I know how to do it. I got all the tools for it. But I know right now, you know, once I get the grinder, which should be here next week, um, you know, I'll be cutting, you know, and I got the saw for cutting titanium and all that stuff. Just waiting on the platform for it. And, uh, you know, pretty soon you guys will be, uh, you know, getting that titanium bolster right there. Or the titanium backspacers and whatnot, you know. Fun will begin. But, you know, I need to gather myself and, uh, basically, uh, work on, uh, just, uh, relaxing for a bit. I have very much not stopped working since I started this, so it's been awesome, but, you know, I need to take a break, only for, I only say two days, but, you know what, I guarantee I'll be sitting here tinkering tomorrow morning or something, you know, I need my girlfriend to get in the shower for three hours and I'll be uh, out here messing around, so, so, yep, if it out, be like this, it's very, very nice, uh, this is my best backspacer I've done, pretty much, uh, because the hardware came out nicely. Uh, just pop right out. Sometimes you just gotta make your own. This one's just perfect. I do like this new, the newer version of this a lot better than the older one. I just think it's a better looking blade. But uh. There you have it. We have a few knives that are almost done, so we might need just a little tweak here and there, so I'll have some videos maybe. Most likely. I like showing you guys stuff, so it kind of looks like some X-Men shit going on here. But thanks for the inspiration there, Gabco, and uh, your pattern is coming along nicely, man. I can see a change from that first one to the second one. But yeah, you're right, these things, uh, you know, you got to be really, really thin with the uh, grooves on this. That's why I put an extra layer of uh, a color there. But, uh, you guys have a good night. Peace.